Hello and welcome back. This time we are going to discuss all about educational technology. This is Dr. Edward Padama and before we start, please support the channel by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell to alert you when a new video is uploaded. Let's start! So by definition, educational technology is the abbreviation of education and technology and it is usually recognized and used as edutech or edtech. This refers to the use of computer hardware, software, educational theories, and practice to facilitate learning. So we usually are familiar with this during our face-to-face -face or F2F class meetings where we use these technologies in teaching our students. So educational technology continues to find ways to create, use, manage technological processes and educational resources to help improve learners' academic performance. So may I add that this is not only the case in educational technology, but also one of its objective is to make learning enjoyable, fun, light, and not the opposite wherein it stresses the students despite the use of these technologies. So educational technology as a field continues to innovate and persist and initiates to find ways to make learning effective. So it is described as a persisting initiative that seeks to bring learners, teachers, and technical means together in an effective way. So before the pandemic, we were used in the face-to-face -face classroom setting where the teachers inside the classroom can use various types of these technologies like laptops, projectors, uh, tablets, uh, desktop computers and computer laboratories while implementing the conventional face-to-face -face classroom setting. But during this time, we are now implementing an innovation which we were not used to before the arrival of this pandemic, which is online learning. And together with this, we use different types of strategies under blended learning. So this, is, uh, this will come into the role of educational technology with, where it innovates the process of learning depending on the situation persisting in that particular society. And last but not the least, educational technology transcends beyond the conventional process of teaching with the use of technology like projectors being used during lectures. So once you use these technologies inside the classroom, it does not necessarily mean that you are already implementing educational technology as a whole because edtech is not just a combination of two fields which is education and technology. It goes beyond that. So we have other fields that affects educational technology, the strategy used in edtech, the implementation of the technology used in edtech. So as a very, very prominent figure in information technology said, technology is just a tool in terms of getting the kids or the learners working together and motivating them. The teacher will always be the most important element in learning. And another is EdTech is based on knowledge that emerges from disciplines as we were discussing earlier such as communication, education, psychology, sociology, artificial intelligence, and computer science. This means that educational technology is not isolated by itself. It is affected by these disciplines. So we will see more of this especially in our situation right now wherein we will not be able to practice face-to-face -face meeting with our students in a classroom setting. 
Okay, the next slide will show you the outline or the content of the study of educational technology. So, I will show a very small note later on, especially for my students in EdTech, but basically this will be the outline of our discussion from number one definition up to the last one, which is perspective careers in implementing educational technology. So, the note that I was referring to is this one. Topics. These are the topics to be assigned to my students for further discussion. So, take note. These topics from 1 to 15 will be the topics assigned to you for further discussion. So, I advise you to take note of these topics. You can screenshot, you can take a photo of this so that when we go to our online meeting, whether in Zoom or other applications, you will be able to refresh yourselves with this list of topics. Okay, so how do we implement educational technology in our class? Especially right now where we are not allowed to implement face-to-face -face meetings with our students. So these are the considerations that we would dwell into and we will further discuss on our next education technology video. So I will just give you the list for now and then we will further discuss this on the, our next video. So, teachers in the public school and the private school, the faculty at universities, need to understand what type of material, materials are available, how to use these materials, why they should be used, when they should be used, and how to integrate them into teaching learning environment in order to meet the ultimate goal of improving education. Teachers also need to seriously consider how these newer materials or tools or gadgets can affect what and how we learn and teach. And these are the considerations. So we have software tools, software types, integrated learning systems, up to philosophical questions and issues. So all of this again will be discussed on the next EdTech video. Hello and we have reached another conclusion in one of our discussions for educational technology. Thank you for joining me and please uh, don't forget to support the channel by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell to alert you when a new video is uploaded. And if you have questions on educational technology or research writing, Place them at the comment box below of this video and I will immediately get back to you. See you on the next EdTech video. Bye and God bless.